Hi, I want to show you how we can graph linear equations and also system of linear equations and on GeoGebra and also find the point of intersection. So let me launch this and here is the place that you are going to enter the equation. Okay, for the usual calculator, you have to isolate the y, but then for GeoGebra, you don't. Let me graph a line for you. Let me say I want to graph 2x plus 3y is equal to 1. And all I need to do is just type in the equation. I don't need to worry about isolating the y. Um, and then just press enter and here's the line and the line a okay and i'm going to enter another line so y is equal to 4x minus 9 for example and then hit enter so as you can see we have two lines right this is pretty much a system of equations and we can clearly find the point of intersection but then sometimes maybe it's not so lucky maybe the point of intersection is not a whole number so we cannot do that easily what you do is go to the line option and no, go to this point right here. Okay, this option right here, and you can go down to intersect. And you can just click on one of the line and then click on to the other line. And you see it appears the little point A right here for you. And A is equal to 2, comma negative 1. And that's the point of intersection. Okay, so let me maybe just make this in to change this real quick for you to make it prettier as I usually, as what I also always like to do. So let me go to the color. Let me say A is just uh, black and then B is in red. And both of the line, I want to make it thicker. And now it looks prettier. But then maybe sometimes if you want to include this onto your test or your handout, for example, you want to have equation of the line. When you save this as a picture this right here are not going to be included so what you would like to do is click on a line and then go to object property and let me go to basic and uh, for the showing object what you want to do is just instead of name because this is name a the line a you want to choose um, you can choose a name and value but then the a will just be weird because it will be the a is equal to uh, 2x plus 3y is equal to 1 let me just choose value. The value will be just the definition, namely the equation. So you see here we have the equation for the line black. And then you can do the same for line B. And I'm just going to change this to value. And you can have that as well. So this is the quick way to do the label. Okay, this is a quick way to do the label. But then of course you can also use a text box if you would like. And let me see what else I can show you. Sometimes, maybe you have to graph inequalities instead. So what you want to do is come here. Maybe it's not just a solid line. Maybe you have like greater than. You can totally change that. And now I have a greater than sign. Let me just do it right here. 2x plus 3y greater than 1. Okay. I think it's really picky. You have to redo it again. 